Hey everyone, it's James Lambert, the motivational coach and speaker. I went from headlocks to hugs. I still embrace people, just now in a more positive way. So I wanted to share with you in this video my thoughts on being mindful and fully present and therefore engaged in the now. So there's a lot of talk about mindfulness recently, particularly I hear that increasingly in the corporate world it's becoming quite fashionable and trendy. And although I'm not a huge fan of people jumping on the bandwagon just to be trendy, I am a huge fan and believer in the positive aspects of being mindful, being present in our day to day lives, in each moment in truth, and how that can have a great positive impact in our lives. And I found in my own practice that previously I thought that to be mindful or to be present, maybe I had to be actually participating in the act and art of meditation. Maybe sitting with my eyes closed in a sort of yoga tantric pose. But I've since come to realise and believe that being mindful, being fully present, being engaged in the sum total of our life, which is all happening, of course, now. Life is a series of nows, now, now. Lots of nows strung up together to make up our days, weeks, months, years, and of course, life. So as I said before, I thought I had to actually be in the act of meditation. And many of us go to our various temples or churches and we think, you know, we're communing with something bigger than ourselves there. And of course we may be. But I've come to believe that we can be present and therefore mindful in the simple act of eating. We, really, if you're eating, eat. If you're talking, talk. And when you're listening, really listen. And when I'm washing up, I'm there washing up and this can continue throughout the day and it's beautiful because you may say well don't we do that anyway James but I gently suggest that you're not if you're honest so maybe even when you're brushing your teeth in the morning you're already thinking about what you're going to have for breakfast when you're eating your breakfast you're thinking about oh crikey am I running late for work when you're in the car or traveling to work you're worried about you're never present with where you are and what I found is, well, this sounds like a lot of hard work. It becomes, it might be to start with. It might be, particularly if you've been frenetically pacing in your thoughts for, for many years, nay, most of your life, it may be challenging at the start. So what? It's very encouraging because you stick with the practice. You stick with being present. So as I've said, when you're listening to someone, really pay attention. Don't just pretend to listen and inside already be formulating your answer to respond, trying to be witty or clever. Listen, when you're eating, eat and be present. And when you're watching something, don't already rush into the next thing. And I found in my own life that it has become so much more peaceful. It's become more happier. I've really got the most out of life. And you may say, well, does that negate the, the very necessary real need to plan for the future? No, not at all. You can make an actual fact, I find being present today, I'm far more likely to achieve my goals in the future because I've done what I've needed to today. Just like I already suggested, the nows make up our day, our weeks, our months in life. But by all of those nows, by being present in the now, the future will come in its own good time. Moreover, you'll be ready for it because you've been mindful and therefore present today. So I really encourage you to whatever you just slow down enough, slow down in your thoughts, slow down even in your eating. Really enjoy everything. Each morsel of food you consume, every sip of tea or coffee or whatever your particular drink is you enjoy, really enjoy it. Slow it all down and you'll find that my goodness, life has got so many things to be grateful for. If we but just slow it down, pay attention, be mindful and become present. So as always, I hope this has provided some value for you. You are unstoppable and I believe in you.